¿Buscas el mejor cine? Pues mira en Televisión Española. Said full marching order. What the notice says and what you do are horses in two different stables. But the order was signed by the commandant. Eh, the commandant. Whenever he sees a piece of paper, he's got to sign it. Confidentially. You know what that order means? It means that you'll stand up in the sun for three hours. The sweat will pour off your face. The flies will eat you. You'll get so tired that you'll faint. But they'll stand you up. And you wait again. And don't stand here. Up, down, down, up, up, down. Getting busy with your ups and downs. Well, then what's it all for if we're not going to march? Discipline. You'll see those old timers? They never take a full pack on a parade. I'm going to play safe. I'll take a full pack. A 
Full water bottle. Yes, sir. Are they ready to march? Yes, sir. Then march. March? To Manchuria. Now, sir? Oh, but it's 40 kilometers. It is, and a bit more. The relief company, sir, hasn't arrived yet. Then when did the Legion wait for relief? They had their full water bottles. They had their heart attack. If they haven't, heaven help them. They can't play tricks on me. The orders were for the company to parade ready to march. The 14th company will now march. Now I bet you faint. Right shoulder! On! Where's the right? Bring the men back? No! Oh, my arm! You help 
me. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, there. Sean, I'll buy you a bracelet. Oh, no, right. bracelet will not make it well. Oh, well, he's good. No, no. Now, you send for your soldiers, and when they come back, I'll kiss you. Like that. Cigarette, come back here. Ollie. Yes, sir. Tell the adjutant to send a message to the 14th Company in order to make the barracks. You hear me? Jump! Major Doyle, what do you mean by sending the 14th Company away before the relief is in? Hmm? Discipline is one thing, common sense another. Order them back at once. I've done so already, sir. But you marched them off! I did, sir. To let them eat dust and sweat a bit. Then I recall them. You'd never know in the desert what'll happen to the relief. Amazing. I just had a report that City Ben Yusuf has attacked the 17th Company. Cut them to bits. The entire convoy destroyed. Did you know that? No, sir. I took ordinary military precautions, that's all, sir. Very good, Major. Take a troop of chasseurs, get out there. There may still be some of them alive. Very good, sir. Orderly! <laughs> Poor devils. Bare heads, sun, food and water just out of reach. City Ben Yusuf never forgets the details. It must have been a complete wipeout if they had time to do that sort of thing. Squadron! Trot! Fuel! Hey, whoa, what's all this? Say, boys, this won't do. You're going about as though as your last meal on earth. Uh, Baron, better go and relieve number four, will you? Grieve on, Moose, get up on the hill. Those fellows deserve a meal, too. Who do you think you are, eh, General? I am the very model of a modern Major General. Come on, there's a good fellow. All right, Corporal. Hey, Corporal, try a bit of dinner. Oh, patty de foie gras. I'm wine, too. Well, I don't suppose the Colonel will ever invite me to dinner, so I'll dine with him now. <laughs> I hope the Colonel won't mind. <laughs> I hope the Colonel won't know. You can always blame it on the Arabs, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Corporal, send a head waiter, will you? You've never seen a head waiter in your life. Well, that leaves 20 of us. How are you feeling? No complaint. Food's all right, but I don't like these beds. Well, why don't you ring for the chambermaid? Ha! <laughs> I never thought of that. Oh, well, Rick. How about a drop of this? My head's whizzing, so I... I can't tell whether it's my old mother or the angels singing me to sleep. Chateau Latour, 75. Never thought I'd see that again. That makes you think of home and mother, don't it, sir? Home? Up 
all of you for aid inspection. Come, people. All in the company. Company. Good. The 17th company, sir. Fences posted. The one on the point and one on the hill. Where's your machine gun? Uh, trained on your back, sir. Name? Victor, sir. Well done, Corporal. Thank you, sir. Sir. Do you speak Arabic, Sergeant? Oh, fairly well. 
You know the dialects of the southern tribes? The Oldlers and Burbis, for instance? Well enough to swear at the men and be polite to the women. <laughs> well, I have a very important assignment for you. Some dealers have arrived from the far desert. New ones. Go down to the marketplace and keep your ears open. For what purpose? Any talk of Peter Ben Yusuf. Any hint of his flag in his tribe. What name? Sidi Ben Yusuf. I see, yes. I came to see horses, not Arabs. Here is a good one, Mon Capitaine. Look, look. Ah, that's better. That's a horse, that is. That's a horse. I will get it for you for 1500 Good. Splendid. I'll take it. Actually, they haven't got another like it, have they? To make a good pair for the general. It's here, sir. Guaragalo, Maracano. Obvious. He has one, but get then he will get him at once. No, you see those dealers over there? They would have robbed you if I was not here. Oh, thanks very much. Same horse, different saddle. <laughs> That's an old trick she's playing. Look at me, Ken. Look. Splendid. A perfect match. A half brother to the other one. Is it not so good as the first one, of course? Oh, but. <laughs> no, it isn't. Any fool with half an eye can see that, so I'll, I'll take it. And that rake is a pretty swindle. But don't you think we ought to tell him something else?
you hurt? Oh, just let it do it to the gun tree. Why don't you leave horses alone if you cannot drive? You want to break my neck? No, I, I wouldn't want to break that pretty little neck. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I don't blame you, and I'm terribly sorry. Sorry? Yes, that's why I dashed after you. I didn't mean to offend you. No? The first time you come to my cafe, you insult me. And the next time you see me, you tell me to kiss a horse. <laughs> well, after all, you, you did tell me it would kill you to pay the bet. And I wanted to let you off, and I just said the first thing that came into my head. Bridget, please do. Are you really sorry? Of course I am. And you have to give me, haven't you? Would it have killed you if I had paid my bet? I should say not. <laughs> you like that? Like it, who wouldn't? I only wish that we'd bet some more. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Five, six, ten, ten bets. <laughs> And you won every time. One. <laughs> the bet was a bottle of wine to a kiss. My idea, you know. The sergeant won by a nose. Rides like a cameraman began. But when they came to pay, he told us she'd better kiss the horse. <laughs> That's carrying indifference a shade too far, if you ask me. Go on, what happened? She rode off as if the devil were after her. The sergeant followed. I don't know why. Well, they're a long time coming back. Yeah, I'd be slow myself if I was sergeant. I think. <laughs> I wonder if she kissed the horse after all. <laughs> hate a man so much and love him so quick. What a funny little treat you are, cigarette. Oh, retreat. Come on. No horses, a long walk. Now oh, I suppose I've got to carry you. What? Carry me? <laughs> This is not the first time I've walked in the desert. I've marched with the Legion. You have? Then march. An order for the barracks. When Sergeant Victor arrives, tell him to report to me at once. Sergeant Victor is at your office, sir. He's been waiting there for over an hour. Well, what are you doing here? I came to make my report, sir. Report? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, uh, did you find out anything? Nothing definite. But I got the impression that there is something afoot. Hmm. Well, uh, uh, what do you say? I said I got the impression that there is something afoot. Oh. Thank you, Sergeant. Is that all, sir? Sergeant, did, uh, you, uh, did anything else of importance happen this afternoon? No, no. Oh, nothing of a military nature. Thank you, Sergeant. La dos. Ven a descubrir la más fantástica aventura de la prehistoria. 
Ven a vivir Parque Jurásico en McDonald's. Pide tu menú jurásico y prepárate. Solo en McDonald's podrás ganar camisetas, gorras, gafas de sol y pins jurásicos. Y además, regalamos un vaso jurásico con cada menú. Captúralos todos antes de que se extingan. Ven a McDonald's. Sabemos lo que te gusta. Era un hombre corriente que se parecía al presidente. ¡Que Dios bendiga América! Ahora tiene un gran empleo. Bien, volvamos al trabajo. Una gran casa. Gracias, señor presidente. Y una gran esposa. ¿Quieres darte la vuelta? Kevin Klein, Sigourney Weaver, de presidente por un día. Este pan es inteligente porque ayuda a tu silueta, vigila tu peso, te mantiene en forma... Cuida tu corazón y equilibra tu cuerpo. Pan integral silueta, fibra natural, vitaminas y minerales. Comer sano es inteligente. Cuando estemos absolutamente seguros de que es nuestro hombre, solo nos quedará eliminar. ¿No creerás que soy un traidor? Claro que no. Una simple fuga de información en el servicio secreto británico significa el sacrificio de un hombre. La información que os paso es trivial, excepto tío Remus, es muy serio. Una inquietante historia de gratitud y fracaso creada por Graham Greene. No me hables de mi pueblo. Tú eres mi pueblo. El factor humano, dirigida por Otto Preminger. Mañana por la noche en la 2. Your work, Sergeant? 
of my <laughs> recreation. What a beautiful piece of carving. What's this? A likely looking beast. Perfect model of a thoroughbred English hunter. An English hunter, is it? A lot he'd know about those. He sees nothing but Arab ponies around these parts. It might have been carved from a memory. Oh, not likely, I should say. And that's treading on dangerous ground, my lady. We must never look into their past. Excuse me. He's rather like a bull in a china shop, isn't he? I'm glad you like my, my horse. I think it's lovely. Do you like it? Well, I'll buy it for you. Oh, but I couldn't. Why not? Sure, everything's for sale around here. Here's Sergeant the Frank. A week's pay. Oh, no, 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 thank you, Major Doyle. I really couldn't think of it. I know the Sergeant doesn't really want to pause with it. Just as you say, my lady. Keep the Frank, Sergeant. Adi! He gave me the creeps the way you look at her. For a moment, I thought it was someone who knew you. <laughs> Seeing a lady like that again makes a man feel sort of homesick, doesn't it, sir? It does. related to, uh, to Princess Cherubini. She just got in on a, on a camel train and we've got family affairs to discuss. Go on, go on. I told you this place is reserved. Ah, the commandant is coming, eh? No, no. He's not coming? No. I'm not moving. You'll move. You'll move for Sergeant Victor. Ah! <laughs> Sergeant Victor. <laughs> I see. You want to poison him with this, eh? Oh, go on, go away. I bet you 10 sous. I, I bet you 20 sous he doesn't come. That's one bet I'll take. <laughs> now you and your... Princess, my apologies. Go and we join the common people. <laughs> Well, I think you'll be very 
charming about the whole thing. Oh, not at all. I think it's great fun. Huh? Yes, it's just warm. <laughs> Urgent message for Colonel Farrell from headquarters. The sergeant. This man has message a message. for Colonel Farrell. Very urgent. Don't keep us waiting. Very well, sergeant. Follow me. Come on, man. Do as you're told. Wait here. Wait here. You know my husband. He likes to surprise him. Yes, that's pretty good. Should I have... Important dispatches just arrived, sir. For Colonel Farrell. From headquarters? Oh, quite possible, sir. I'm afraid I must go. You coming in, Lady Venetia? No. No, I'll wait here for you. All right, thank you, sir. Uh, excuse me. Need I apologize? Was there any such message? Oh, yes. Yes, but I didn't bring it. Is it dangerous for you to be here? Twice dangerous. Twice. Confined to barracks on the one side and on the other. Those eyes of yours. You're a daring man, Sergeant. Well, I had to come to bring you this. You were kind enough to admire it. I wouldn't sell it. I would never sell it. And with a third party present, it was impossible to give it. Will you please accept it? Thank you. I love it. Not only for itself, but because you risked so much to bring. Do you know this is the first exciting thing that's happened to me in all this monotonous country? Africa, monotonous. Isn't it? Well, this isn't Africa. It's just a hotel in any part of the world. Africa's out there. The Arab quarters, the Jewish bazaars, the cafes, the Kabyle dancers. Things I've always wanted to see. Things you ought to see if you want to see Africa. I could take you. But perhaps adventure doesn't appeal to you. This is a challenge. Don't you realize it's absurd? Impossible. That's why you think I might do it? You oughtn't to tempt me. When can we go? Now. Now? How can we get out? Can you climb? I used to. Apple trees. <laughs> You're climbing tonight. Come. Just a moment. Better give me your jewelry. Say Poison taken out. No, not. No, he gets the full dose. Oh, but why doesn't it kill him? Well, you see that boy, the assistant. Every day he takes his dose of snake bite. Starting with a little and gradually increasing the dose until one day he'll be immune, too, like his father. Well, 
Evidently, it's possible to become accustomed to anything, even snake bite. <laughs> oh, you mustn't laugh. For the honorable profession, handed down from father to son over hundreds of years. Oh, well, doesn't snake get tired just uh, fighting without any success? <laughs> <laughs> You're bored stiff with it. Look, look, look at that expression. The snake's on it. He's saying, don't you ever feel anything, you idiot? Don't you ever die? <laughs> I think we'd better say goodnight here. Thank you for showing me Africa. It seemed thrilling. You don't think that was the real Africa, do you? You said it was. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. That's the real Africa out there in the desert. The Maibu Oasis. At full moon. Maibu? That sounds lovely. It's only three miles out. You would almost see it from your balcony. Come now. Are you trying to tempt me again? Yes. Are you tempted? Dreadfully. That's impossible. Quite impossible. I'm afraid so. Good night, Sergeant. Good night, my lady. Lady Manisha! Shh. Haven't you forgotten something? Jewelry. Pity I mentioned it. I nearly got away with it. <laughs> Don't you think a poor soldier should be rewarded for his honesty? May I put the necklace on? Can't you do it? I nearly did. There. Forgive my being so clumsy. It's a long time since I fastened a woman's necklace. Good night again. Good night. gave him some work to do. He sent me a message. I don't care why he didn't call, but he didn't call. Uh, ah! uh, <laughs> hey, cigarette! You owe me money. You didn't pay. Should have known better, old fellow. Let's go home, eh? You're going to show me the rest of your Africa? Story. Now 
thousand stories. Shall I tell you one? This was once an old monastery, perhaps the most famous monastery in all Africa. It is said that no woman but one ever set foot on this holy ground. <laughs> you're, you're not listening. I'd rather hear another story. Your own. Oh, my story is much too long and much too dull to tell you. Not dull, I'm sure. Well, perhaps it's not so dull. But it hasn't seemed long until... Now. Now? After this, it will be endless. Ah, you see, the old trick. I'm playing on your sympathy. Will it really seem endless? Lord Sarah. Colonel Farley. Won't you? Thank you. Your presence here is most opportune, Lord Sarah. You understand, of course, that I'm here merely as an observer for the British government. For some time, we've been having trouble with a powerful chief, Sidi Ben Yusuf. Ben Hamadou is one of our few loyal chiefs. He himself wants our help. He wants to continue in peace and prosperity. But his own tribes are already wavering in favor of Sidi Ben Yusuf. And if they join with him, then he must break with us. Naturally. I have repeatedly assured him that the rumors of trouble between France and England are lies, but if you will add your word... Certainly. Interpreter. Tell Chief Ben Hamadou that the friendship between France and England continues, and that they'll mutually support one another in suppressing any revolt against territorial authority. In the sadaqat allati ma bayna al-dawlat al-Francis wal anglis satabqa ala hala. Chief Hamadou desires to express his gratitude. He will confer immediately with the other chieftains and return tonight with their answer.
Major Doyle? Yes, sir? I'm giving you a post of great importance. If you succeed, the revolt may be checked. You will move your battalion to Abu Hamad immediately. Your objective is to stop the juncture of Sidi Ben Yusuf's three tribes. Thank you, sir. How soon can you move? Five minutes, sir. Very well, then move. Yes, sir. Seriously, sir. I've just seen Lord Seraph. Seraph? Here. Are you sure? Saw him with my own eyes, sir, with that British party at the hotel. You remember the lady that came here one day? That's his niece. His niece? Rachel was packed for me. Well, we're marching on ours. Can't help it. I've got to get that horse back. I gave it to Lady Venetia. I cut Forest King on the best. If Seraph sees that, he'll know. I've got to get it back. Bring my kit. I'll meet you at the parade. Victor! Victor! Hello, cigarette. Where have you been? I have looked everywhere for you. Two nights I waited for you. Why didn't you come? I'm sorry, my dear, but I couldn't. It was the commander, huh? He gave you some special duty. No, no, I, I was detained. Forgive me, my dear, I must go. You, you would leave without saying goodbye? No, no, my dear. I was coming to say goodbye before I left. Believe me. Goodbye? Is that all you were going to say to me? Oh, forgive me. Let's go now. I see you on the parade ground. Every precaution has been taken. I've been hearing such terrible things. What really is happening? Nothing, nothing at all. there's something I'm going to ask you. It's very important. It's the horse, the carving. I want you to give it back. But why? It's mine. I love it. Yes, I can't explain, but I must have it back. Will you give it to me, please? Of course, dear. But you must promise to let me have it again when you return. But you won't be here when I return. You'll be in England. Oh, no. I shall be here, Victor. I can't leave you. Ever. Oh, but... oh no, no, no. Please don't speak. I know exactly what you're going to say. But I know nothing of you. That's all I need to know. Oh, my dear, you don't know what you're saying. It's madness. When two people love each other like this, and we do, don't we, Victor? And then, Pa, that's madness. Besides, you won't always be a millionaire. Someday your service will end. No, it'll never end. I can never go back to England. I should only be exchanging my service here for... for a prison cell. Nonsense. Saying that to frighten me because, because you think it's hopeless. But it isn't hopeless. I won't let it be. You can't forget me, Victor. Can you? No. You, you want me to wait? Oh, my dear. My uncle, I, I want you to meet him. No, I can't meet him. I must go. Victor! 
Victor. Victor. I shall be here when you come back. I love you, Victor. My darling. Every night in the desert, I'll be thinking of my boy, of you. I shall be counting the hours until you come back. And you must. Don't let anything happen. Model of a horse race Brett gave me. 
He's in my stables now. Fresh, fresh? Yes, he was a young friend of mine. One of the most popular officers in the guards. I haven't seen him for years. He disappeared. Ugly scandal. Men prison if he'd been caught. Prison? Yes. What has he done? Nothing. He'd been shielding his younger brother. Last summer, his younger brother met up with a nasty accident. Before he died, he cleared Rafe completely. Uncle, this was given to me the other day. The other day? By whom? By the man who carved it. A legionnaire, an Englishman. An Englishman, legionnaire? By Jove, where is he now? He's gone, he left with his battalion. We must get him back, I must see him. Can we? Can we at a time like of this? Of course we can. I'll see Colonel Ferrell at once. Sergeant Victor's patrol just came in, sir. They had a brush with the Arabs and lost six men. Did, uh, has, uh, Sergeant Victor come back? Yes, sir. Send him in. Very good, sir. Section patrolled as far as Giardia. Six men lost, five killed, one captured. Well, fill up the gaps. Take 20 men and return to Giardia. That position must be held at all costs until the last man. You're going to make sure of me this time, aren't you? What do you mean by that? It's quite apparent, isn't it? You sent me out three times. And like the bad penny, I keep on coming back. It seems to annoy you, doesn't it? Insubordination! You know what that means in the Legion? Oh, death, probably. Ha! Death one way or the other, isn't it? If you have your orders, now carry them out! Yes, sir. have the sergeant killed. Try three times. This time he'll succeed. He sends him to Guardia with 20 men. 20 against 4,000. Mademoiselle? Mademoiselle, do you happen to know if any more wounded to be brought in? If you're looking for Sergeant Victor, you don't need to look anymore. He's not coming back. Wait! Mademoiselle! What was that you just said? What's happened? Mademoiselle, tell me, please. I'll tell you. He's been given a post that means death. He'll stay there until he dies. Well, how could you know that? Who told you? I know from the wounded. Now you can go back to your country. You'll never see him again. Why do you speak to me like that? Why? Because I love him like you never could. He doesn't belong with your kind. He's of the Legion, my kind. Would you follow them into the desert? Would you march with them, nurse them? I've even shot them so that the Arab could not take them alive. Could you do that? You poor child. You do love him. Yes, I love him. 
And I could save him if I wanted to. Save him? How? You're in a way you wouldn't understand. But why should I save him? For you? For me? Well, what difference does it make? Surely you can't leave him out there to die. Can you? Well, can you? Yes, I can! through from Sergeant Victor's patrol, sir. The post at Gyaria is surrounded. Yes, yes. Well, uh, bring him in. All of Tell me, uh, Houston, to report to the commandant. Did uh, Sergeant Victor send this message himself? He was alive, I believe, sir, when the message started. What? Oh, what do you mean by saying that? Nothing. Nothing at all, sir. Oh, shall I order the battalion ready to move, sir? You will not. The patrol will hold on by themselves. We... Uh, we can't move until the Shetters reinforce us. But surely, sir, you're not going to leave them out there. That's enough! Sergeant Victor reports, sir, that Sidi Ben Yosef has advanced his main force to the hills behind Giaria. Any casualties? Yes, sir. We lost ten men, sir. Another message I don't understand, sir. He said, tell the Commandant that this time the bad penny won't turn up. Who said that? Sergeant Victor, sir. A sort of a code, I think, sir. He said you would understand. That'll do. Do we still stay, sir? We do.
Sergeant! The Arabs, they've gone, they've gone away! That can only mean one thing, who's hung that through? The battalion's on its way! You're right, Sergeant! It's the battalion! They are coming! That's why the Arabs cease firing, they're drawing them into a trap. The whole battalion will be wiped out. Can we do anything to warn them? Yes. Yeah.
hold out until dark. They may have a chance. John, take the other wall. Keep a sharp lookout. All right, Sergeant. How do you feel, sir? I'm all right. What's our strength? The 55 men still on their feet, sir. Food and water for 48 hours, but the ammunition is very low. I see. One more attack and we're done for, huh? Scout below. Well, what did you learn? I scouted to the end of the defile, sir. City Ben Yusuf's main force is withdrawn. Evidently to wait for daylight. Very good, Sergeant. Now wait. Lieutenant Patain, both double centers. Very good, sir. Sit down. So the bad penny is still in circulation. <laughs> still in circulation. Why did you take cigarette from me? Cigarette? Yes, cigarette. She loves you. She told me so. So that's why you tried to exterminate me. Oh, you're wrong, Colonel. There is someone. It isn't cigarettes. You're lying, bless you. Now, what difference does it make? We'll both be dead tomorrow. Yeah, we will that. If we can only hold out until midday. Dawn or midday they've got us. What does it matter? Matter? There's four squadrons of chasseurs on the way. They could reach us by noon. By noon? Yes, it's time we need. Perhaps I could... Perhaps I could give you that time. You? How? We can't spare any men. I wouldn't need any men. I'd have to do this myself. That is, uh, with your permission. Well, you have it. If I don't come back, your score is settled. What's in the wind? I can't tell you, Rake. But there won't be any patty de foie gras this time. Open up. A pleasure to renew an old acquaintance, Sidi Ben Yusuf. Your men have been most helpful. Old acquaintance? I don't recall your face. Rafe Brett, Oxford, class of 92, same year as yourself. You were at Balliol, I was at Magdalen. Surely you haven't forgotten Professor York's tea. Professor York? Professor York's tea. Oh, how well I remember. <laughs> but this is amusing. Old classmates meeting here in the heart of the desert as enemies. Won't you sit down? May I offer you refreshments? Thank you. Kahwa. Now, why have you paid me this uh, most unusual visit? To save my life. And possibly yours. I believe there's an old Arab proverb which says, A wise man is he who makes peace in time. Peace? Recently, a British commissioner arrived at Abishai. As no doubt your spies have already informed you. Yes, uh, I heard of his lordship's arrival. So sorry that I wasn't there to receive him. Uh, but what is this to do with the necessity for my making peace? If you were caught here, with the British behind you, that would be a bit awkward, wouldn't it? British troops in French territory? That's absurd. The secret has been well kept. <laughs> you suppose me naive enough to believe that? 
You have your scouts. Send them out. Learn for yourself. If what you have told me is true, I shall be indebted to you for the rest of my life. If not, this renewal of our acquaintance, I'm afraid, shall be short-lived. We shall know in a few hours. Is Ab, the hustle, Akbar, and Neil Askar. I'm not your city. Now, uh, shall we imagine we're again at one of Professor York's teas? Gardia! The battalion is at Gardia! They're surrounded! Gardia! They're changing others! To Gardia! Polly! It's a lot of time now. Ashkara, cafe. Trust you slept well. Very well, thanks. And enjoyed your morning meal. Oh, that was a great relief after hard tack. I'm very glad that it will be your last. You lied to me. I've had my scouts out all night. There are no British within 500 miles, and you knew it. Quite. I was very amused you believed it at all. Really? And now I can amuse myself with you. Well, that's natural. What can I expect? Remember the old soccer game? Played with the ball. We're going to play it now, but on horseback. <laughs> and you will be the ball. It's Rahu Hu Piopala. I 
Helen. When I went here to follow you, you didn't come. Now you have come. You will remember the day in the desert. I'll remember. Always. Will you bet once more? are assembled here to do honor to a soldier of France killed in action against the enemy. In life, she was the devoted friend, nurse and companion to the men of the Foreign Legion. And by her last heroic deed, she saved the remnants of our 5th Battalion and prevented the revolt of the Arab tribes. In the annals of all brave women, the name of Mademoiselle Cigarette will hereafter be given high rank. In the hearts of the French Foreign Legion, she will live forever. In behalf of the government of France, I hereby confer upon Mademoiselle Cigarette the Médaille Militaire. la película, cada noche te ofrecemos un título mítico en la historia del cine. Y cada día confeccionamos para ti una programación de calidad. Te agradecemos que hoy hayas elegido estar con nosotros. Hasta mañana. Queremos que en la 2 encuentres lo que buscas.